The AirPods Pro are an excellent set of wireless earbuds, but they don't exactly come cheap. Enter something like the Amazon Echo Buds 2, which are also a great set of earbuds. So let's work out if you should spend more or less. So of course your first consideration is price. The AirPods Pro generally sell for around $250, while the Amazon Echo Buds 2, or the second generation, are around $120. So in this video, I'm gonna break down everything from their design to the sound quality, call quality, microphones, active noise cancellation, and of course, their extra bells and whistles. Chapters are linked in the description below, and if you wanna check out the latest prices, you can also find those links too, because sometimes these go on sale. So let's get started. In the box of the Echo Buds, you get the charging case, the earbuds themselves, ear tips, wing tips, and a USB-C cable. The AirPods Pro box gets you the earbuds themselves, silicon ear tips, the charging case, and a lightning charging cable. So now let's talk about the design, starting off with the Echo Buds. Now these ones are a rounded in-ear bud design, so the AirPods Pro are also an in-ear design, but they do have a different form factor. And because of the interchangeable ear tips, you can get a pretty snug fit. I find that these are fairly comfortable to wear. I don't feel like they are too bulky, but they do sit a little bit outside of my ear. They protrude just a little bit. Um, so I definitely do feel like I am wearing wireless earbuds when I have them in. I found that they stay in fairly well, although I do find I have to use the wing tips if I am doing anything vaguely active, like running, doing yoga, or generally just hanging around upside down as you do. The AirPods Pro do have a different design. They are also in-ear as I mentioned, but they have a stem that sticks down from your ear and you can use that stem to do things like change between tracks, activate noise cancellation and transparency mode and so on. Now, as you probably noticed, I do have third-party ear tips on the AirPods Pro. I do have a foam set of tips. I've also linked that in the description if you're interested in finding out more. I've just found over my past year of using the AirPods Pro that these fit a little bit better than the silicon ear tips, but your mileage will vary. And fortunately, both sets of earbuds do come with an ear fit test. So within the app on iOS and Android for the Echo Buds or within the iOS settings, you can do a fit test to basically see if the ear tips are fitting well in your ears. And this is actually how I found out that I have two different sized ear canals, or at least I need two different sized ear tips when I am wearing the Echo Buds. Now I mentioned the stem controls on the AirPods Pro. The Echo Buds have tap controls, so you can interact with the buds that way, as well as voice controls, which we will talk about later on both. But the Echo Buds I did notice were not as responsive as the AirPods Pro when it came to the commands and changing tracks and so on, but particularly when it came to switching between active noise cancellation and pass-through mode, or that's also called transparency mode on the AirPods Pro, which we'll talk about later. It took about four to five seconds for the Echo Buds to recognize my long press, which was a little too long for my liking. The AirPods Pro come in white, whereas the Echo Buds 2 are in white or black. However, the Echo Buds do have quite obvious branding, so if you're not a fan of the Amazon smiley face, I think you're gonna have to become a fan of one because they're always gonna be on your ears like so. Both of the buds are also IPX4 rated, which means they can withstand some splashes and a little bit of light sweat, so you don't need to worry if you get stuck in the rain, do a sweaty workout, or potentially throw them in the wash or have a shower with them. I haven't tested that yet, but I'm fairly sure it would be okay. But don't try this at home and don't blame me if you void your warranty because I didn't tell you to do it. Do it. No, I didn't tell you to do it. Oh, and the IPX4 rating is only for the buds themselves, not the case. So again, do not try this at home. The Echo Buds 2 have a pretty good and pretty satisfying sound stage. And by this, I mean that the bass is probably a little bit more prominent than you'll hear on the AirPods Pro. It's also got really good mids and trebles, although the trebles are probably to my ears a little bit too intense and a little bit high. Fortunately, there is an equalizer within the app that you can use to sort of tweak the settings more to your liking, just so you can kind of get that sound profile a little bit more custom to you. The AirPods Pro, on the other hand, have what's called an adaptive equalizer. So this is dynamically changing the sound of the earbuds 
based on a couple of different variables, specifically around how they fit in your ear. So I think the AirPods Pro have a fairly neutral sound profile, but this actually works really well across a range of different musical genres, and especially things like podcasts and calls sound great on the AirPods Pro. They might not sound as dynamic as some other wireless earbuds, but I really think that they do work for so many different applications that I kind of forgive them for not having the most booming bass because some people don't like that. Um, and if you do, and you don't want to tweak with the settings, maybe you should think about something like the Echo Buds 2 instead of the AirPods Pro. But overall, the AirPods Pro are a great all-round performer. Now I mentioned the AirPods Pro have an adaptive equalizer, but if you do want to change the sound profile even further, there are a couple of ways that you can do it, either in an equalizer in your favorite music app like Spotify, or even Apple Music within the iOS settings, you can do that. Or you can go into the headphones accommodation within iOS and tweak the sound even further, specifically around things like how good your hearing is, which I really like because you can really make these earbuds your own. Let's talk about noise cancellation because this is a huge reason why you're buying one of these two pairs. Now, both of them have active noise cancellation and both of them actually work really well. Now, I've used the AirPods Pro on a plane. I haven't yet been able to use the Echo Buds 2 on a plane, but I have been able to recreate a couple of white noise environments with an overhead fan, a bathroom fan, and also just listening to a white noise playlist, a 12 hour playlist on Spotify. Don't ask me why I had to listen to that, but I did. And both of them actually perform really, really well. I think the AirPods Pro do have more effective noise cancellation, and that doesn't surprise me given that they are more expensive earbuds, but overall the performance on the Echo Buds 2 is great. They are a lot better than the first generation Echo Buds. If you are potentially thinking about upgrading, you will hear a difference with these. Now the Echo Buds 2, I did notice there was a slight hiss when the active noise cancellation setting was on, as well as the pass-through mode. So if you have super sensitive ears or you can, you know you can hear sounds like slight hisses, then maybe these ones won't work for you, but I could only hear it when there was no music playing, so just take that into account. The AirPods Pro do not have any of that hissing sound with the active noise cancellation or the transparency mode on, so they work really well if you have sensitive hearing. Now both the earbuds have a mode to let in sounds from the outside world. It's called transparency mode on the AirPods Pro and pass through on the Echo Buds 2. This is great if you are wanting to make sure that you have awareness of your surroundings. Maybe you're outside on a walk, maybe you're waiting for here when your screaming baby or puppy wakes up, or maybe you just want to hear when the doorbell goes off because you're working from home. Now, both of the modes work really well. I think the AirPods Pro obviously sound the most natural overall, and I'm not surprised given that they are twice the price of the Echo Buds 2. It sounds like augmented reality for your ears. I think that's the closest way I can describe it. It's really natural and makes you feel like you're still present in the situation, but being able to listen to music or take a call. The pass-through mode on the Echo Buds 2 is also really good. It's obviously not as good as the AirPods Pro, and I'm not surprised because, you know, half the price, but you can adjust that pass-through mode within the app, which means that you can crank up the volume a little bit so you can have much more awareness of your surroundings or lessen it so you don't necessarily hear as much. Now I tested out these earbuds on a couple of different phone calls as well as on Zoom attached to a computer and both performed pretty well. The Echo Buds 2 definitely had more gain. So to the caller on the other end, the buds sounded a little bit louder and overall I just sounded a little bit more booming and kind of front and center. The AirPods Pro were a little bit more balanced overall. All right, some microphone samples for you now. These are, as you can see, the AirPods Pro recording on the iPhone 12 Pro in Filmic Pro. So many pros. Anyway, this is what they sound like. Take a listen and see what you think and then compare them to the next clip. And this is a clip from the Echo Buds recording on the same configuration. Take a listen to the microphones and see what you think. But there is actually a bit of a design fault with the Echo Buds and I will show you what I mean. So when you don't have long hair or your hair is tied up like I have it here, it sounds fine. Just wait. Long haired friends, if you wear the Echo Buds and have long hair, yeah, this is gonna happen. It sounds, you know, kind of like someone's eating cereal. 
And, uh, yeah, obviously no one with long hair tested these before rolling them out because uh, I think this would have been uncovered otherwise. <laughs> my hair is such a mess. All right, for my fellow long-haired friends, this is the AirPods Pro. Just for a fair comparison against the Echo Buds with your hair down, just to take a listen and see, uh, definitely was not as much complaints about hair noise and crunching and scrunching when I was on calls compared to the Echo Buds here on the AirPods Pro. All right, now I'll put my hair back together again. This is the Echo Buds 2 recording on Android, specifically the Z Fold 2 using Pro Video. And just to round things out, also on the Z Fold 2 Android, I am talking in the AirPods Pro this time, just so you can have a comparison across different ecosystems to see which one you like the sound of the most. Fortunately, there's a lot more features to talk about on both of these earbuds. Starting with the AirPods Pro, they have spatial audio, so this creates a virtual surround sound effect when you are listening to movies and TV shows in supported apps, and also now within Apple Music, it uses accelerometers and gyroscopes in both the AirPods Pro and your iOS or iPad device in order to give you that virtual surround experience. It sounds really great. When it comes to voice assistance, well, the world is your oyster if you are on the Echo Buds because they support not only the Google Assistant and Siri if you are listening on iOS and Android, but they also have hands-free, you know what I'm gonna say. So go and deactivate your Amazon voice assistant if you have one so I don't keep triggering it. I'll give you a second. Okay, great, you're back. I'm glad you did, pause the video deactivated that. So these have hands-free Alexa, and Alexa actually can do a lot of different things. If you have an Alexa home smart speaker, and you're really into the Amazon ecosystem when it comes to using Alexa for lots of different things, you're probably really gonna value the Echo Buds. Not only can you do things like make phone calls, and also interact with things like your Alexa skills, but you can also get directions, change volume on your tracks, start and stop music playback. It's really flexible what the Alexa wake word can do on these Echo Buds and it works on iOS and Android, which is a nice bonus. Now, the one thing I would say about the Alexa integration is that sometimes it takes maybe one or two tries for me to get, say, the actual wake word for it to respond. But overall, it was pretty good. Now, the AirPods Pro also have hands-free Siri. So you say, hey, and it will open up the voice assistant and you can do a bunch of different things like make calls, respond to messages, have messages read aloud in your ear as well and of course interact with your phone to do things like change tracks and so on. So both of them are very flexible indeed when it comes to using them hands-free. If you lose these earbuds, you can also open up the Find My in both iOS for the AirPods Pro or within the Alexa app on the Echo Buds 2 and you'll be able to see the location on a map. And if you wanna leave one earbud in the case and use the other one independently, say for example, you just wanna have one ear open to the outside world or one of the batteries has gone dead and you need to charge one but still be listening in the other, you can use both of these earbuds independently, which I really like. On the connectivity front, the AirPods Pro come with quick switching between devices that are signed into your Apple ID. I really like this feature, and it is something that the Echo Buds do not have, which I would have liked to have seen, or at least multi-device connectivity to be able to connect two devices simultaneously to the Echo Buds 2. Unfortunately, that's not a feature, but maybe it's something to think about for the Echo Buds 3. Or maybe I'm asking for too much because these are only $120, and they can't really do everything, but I would still like them to try. One thing I did notice about the Echo Buds 2 is that sometimes they didn't automatically reconnect to the last device that I had used them with, whether that was an iPhone or an Android, and sometimes the syncing was a little bit off when I was watching movies, TV shows, or even YouTube. <laughs> Battery life is super important to get the most out of each charge from the wireless charging case. The AirPods Pro say well, you'll get 4.5 hours of listening time with active noise cancellation turned on and the Echo Buds 2 say five hours of listening time with active noise cancellation turned on and always on Amazon Voice Assistant. 
But real world testing is a little bit different. I actually found that the AirPods Pro could push me closer to five hours of listening time with active noise cancellation turned on at about a 50% volume, whereas the Echo Buds 2 actually got me closer to that four and a half hours of listening time with the same parameters. So they kind of did a bit of a swapsy around with the real world testing. The charging case itself will give you around 24 hours of total charge on the AirPods Pro, whereas the Echo Buds 2 will only be about 15 hours of total charge. And if you need a quick charge within the case, 15 minutes on the AirPods Pro gets you almost three hours of listening time, whereas on the Echo Buds 2, 15 minutes in the case will give you almost two hours. And both of the cases themselves support wireless charging. However, you do need to pay a little bit more on the Echo Buds if you wanna buy the wireless charging case version. It is $20 more for the Echo Buds with wireless charging, whereas the AirPods Pro is just a wireless charging case as standard. Now it comes down to the part of the video where you need to decide which pair of wireless earbuds is your overall winner. Now, hopefully you've watched the rest of the video and haven't just skipped to this section so you do have a bit of an idea of the strengths of each of them, but I'll give you the cheat sheet. Overall, for $120 and potentially even less if you can find these on discount, say for example at Prime Day, these are really, really good value, especially if you're tied closely into the Amazon ecosystem already with some other devices, you have some smart speakers. These are just gonna be a natural extension of that. The sound quality is good, the bass is pretty strong and prominent, and overall, I enjoyed using these a lot. And the wingtips really mean that they can give you an even more secure fit. The AirPods Pro are, yes, they're more expensive, but they are probably the better choice if you are more tightly into Apple's ecosystem. You also want spatial audio from supported movies, TV shows, and music. And overall, you want the most effective noise cancellation and the most natural transparency mode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful for you in working out which pair of wireless earbuds is the best one for you. As always, if there's questions that I didn't answer in this video, you can let me know in the comments below. And make sure to click that like button and subscribe for lots more versus wireless earbuds, headphones, wearables, smartphones, every other comparison you can think of here on CNET. Bye.